For many new buyers, the type of mortgage they choose will significantly affect their budget. There are four major types of mortgages. Conventional. These are loans intended for sale to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, the giant mortgage investment companies. These loans usually require higher down payments and a more stringent underwriting standard than the government agency-backed mortgages. The Federal Housing Administration insured loans are really for first-time buyers and those with less than perfect credit histories. VA. These are loans provided by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, mainly for military personnel in active duty. Retired military personnel can also avail. USDA. This is also called a rural development loan. It serves home buyers in rural and small towns where credit facilities may be scarce. FHA loans allow a minimum down payment of 3.5% for applicants with FICO credit scores above 580. If the score is below 580, they will require a 10% minimum down payment. FHA rules are softer than the rules of conventional lenders, like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Sometimes they will allow a 50% DTI or even higher if there are other compensating factors. Among them are having a lengthy stable employment record, a high credit score, some savings in the bank, or other owned assets. On the downside, FHA has materially raised its mortgage insurance fees so that it may be more expensive than conventional loans on month to month. This is assuming you have ready cash for a higher down payment. For the qualified home buyer, the VA and USDA loans offer the biggest loan with the lowest down payment. Down payment may be low as zero, and the underwriting guidelines are much easier to comply with, especially with the VA loan. What most home buyers are unaware of is that the success of their mortgage applications rest with two national computers. These computers flash tens of thousands of yeses, nos, or maybe answers to lender inquiries daily. The first one is Loan Prospector, LP which Freddie Mac owns and operates. The other is Desktop Underwriter, which Fannie Mae runs. When put together, these two giant agencies supply a majority of the mortgage money in the U.S. Practically all banks use their online underwriting programs to make preliminary assessments of the feasibility of mortgage applications. This also includes loans intended for insurance backing by FHA, VA, or USDA. But how exactly does it work? Your loan officer feeds your basic information into an LP or a DU. The underwriting software uses advanced statistical algorithms to determine if the proposed package deserves an approval or a rejection. It will take into consideration the credit reports, scores, income, assets, reserves, loan versus property value, debt ratio, past mortgage versus current application. Automated underwriting actually increases your ability to acquire a home because it highlights bright spots in the application. These bright spots can counteract or outweigh the negative items in your application. For this reason, the underwriting process becomes more flexible than the customary strict set of rules. This explains why they sometimes approve a 45% to a 50% DTI even though Fannie Mae says 41% is maximum. Veteran loan officers have a way of getting your application approved through the DU or LP by adjusting the application mix. They can raise your credit score by asking you to reclassify some debt balances or finding ways to increase your eligible income. One note of warning, do not commit to a loan that will strain your monthly budget. This got many borrowers into trouble during the housing bust of 2007 to 2009. That's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts and podcasts, as well as calculators and other financial tools. What is your way to determine how much you can afford? We would love to know your thoughts, so please feel free to share them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.